Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a system image backup of your computer using a free program called Hasleo Backup Suite. So a system image backup is different than a file level backup or a clone. So file level backup will back up your files individually and then a clone will clone the drive. Let's say you wanted to maybe upgrade to a bigger drive or your drive is failing. You could clone your drive to that new drive with Windows, uh, your programs and your files. And then you can make it bootable so you could just continue on with the larger or new drive. So a system image backup will take a snapshot, so to say, of your system at that particular point in time. So whatever date and time you create the backup, that is what's going to be captured. So if you restore it, your computer is going to be reverted back to that date and time. So anything you do after you create this system image backup will not be there if you restore the system image backup. So it's always a good idea to do maybe multiples or to do this in addition to file level backups. So you could use your file level backups for, you know, if you need to restore a file or you deleted something on accident. And then you could use the system image backup in case your computer, you know, completely dies or you have a hardware failure. Because when that happens, all you need to do is reinstall Windows, reinstall the backup software, and then restore your image assuming your image file didn't get corrupted and is on a different drive in a safe location. Okay, so we're going to run the program here. So after you install it, the first time you run it, it's going to ask you to specify a default backup location. Uh, you don't have to do that, but if you want to do that, you could do so on this computer. We're doing it on this data drive in backups. So I already have a, a backup image that I created earlier. So we're going to do a new one here. So we'll open the program. All right, so here's the one I made earlier. So we're going to go to the backup section here. So you have your system backup, which is what we're going to do. Uh, you could do a disk or partition backup. That'll back up the drive or partition. Let's say you want to back it up to another drive just to have a copy of it, and then you could do file level backup. And then here's the restore section we'll get to, and then here's the clone option here. So if you want to clone Windows to another drive, you could do this. So we did a video on how this works, so I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. And you could also just clone a disk if you want to make a copy of a disk. It won't be bootable unless you use this option here. And if you have multiple partitions on a disk, you could clone a specific partition. All right, so going back to the system backup, we're going to click on that. Okay, so it automatically picked the Windows drive with all of the Windows partitions selected. And here's my backup drive here, and the destination is in backup. So you could name the task. You could give it a description. So let's just call this new C drive backup. And you have a bunch of options. If you want to go through all these, how much compression, uh, if you want to do file splitting, retention policy, if you want to put a password on it for encryption, uh, you can run some commands, pre and post backup, send an email notification when it's done. This is probably something that you use more for scheduling than you know a one-time job here. Then you have some advanced options here if you want to look into that. And then you could also schedule the backup. So if you want to do this on a regular basis, maybe once or twice a month, you could schedule the job and decide what type of backup, you know, full incremental differential and retain the first backup and how long you want to keep each one. So that's up to you. Okay, so we're going to be doing new C drive backup to our backups folder and the description we'll just leave as is and we'll click on proceed. All right, so when it's completed, you could have it do nothing check the image, do nothing, reboot, shut down, and that type of thing. Okay, so this will take several minutes, so I will pause the video and then be back when it's done. All right, so the backup is completed. It only took about three minutes, so we're going to click on Finish. All right, so now I'm going to make a new file on the desktop here. Call this after backup. So now what we're going to do is restore this image and then when we restore the image this file should be gone because it was created after the backup. So to restore, I'm going to go to the restore section here. 
then we're going to either select a task to restore or browse to an image. Either one will work. So if I go task, we could see there's the one we made. Or if I do image, then I'd have to browse to the image, which is right here. So either one will work. So we'll do this. You can see it's not scheduled. You can see when it was made, it was successful. So we'll click on next. Okay, so here's what it's going to restore here. You can see we have all of our partitions. You can see it's set to system mode. That's what we want because it's a system level backup, not a partition mode or a file mode. All right, so we have the summary here. So here are all the partitions and we're going to restore it to the original location. We're not going to restore it to a different drive. We're going to overwrite Windows with this new one here. So we'll have this box checked. Click on next. And this section here, you probably want to leave alone. You could resize the uh, drive and partition if you need to do so. But for our purposes, we're just going to leave it as is. Click on proceed. So it's saying all data on the selected partitions will be destroyed. So like I said before, once you restore this, anything you've done after this system image will be wiped out and replaced with this system image from whatever date and time you created it. So we're going to say yes. So if you have any files that were created after this image that you want to save, you should back this up before doing this process, here, assuming your computer is in any running condition to do so. And then we have the options here for after it restores. We're going to pick reboot because we want to reboot back into our old backup here. All right, so now you can see it needs to reboot into pre-OS mode to continue because you can't restore Windows while Windows is running. So we're going to click continue. So it needs to create a WinPE image to continue. Say yes to this. So if you need to add any drivers, you could do so, but we don't need to do so in our situation because everything's the same. All right, so it's building the PE image right now. So this will take a couple minutes. All right, so now it's going to restart the computer into the WinPE mode so we could actually do the restore. All right, so it looks like it's loading Windows, but it's not. All right, so now it's doing the restore process. And then, of course, once again, you could change your options here as to what happens afterwards. All right, so this is going to take several minutes as well. So we will be back when this is finished. All right, the computer is now going to reboot since the restore process is complete. All right, so we're logging back in. All right, so you can see we're back in Windows and that file we created is gone, which tells us that we have restored the computer back to that previous backup before that file was created. Now we get to open the program again. And I can see we still have our two backups there, so we could go back to this one again if we need to, or go back to an older one if we need to. And then if you click on Actions here, you could back it up again, restore it, merge an image, mount an image, check your image to make sure it's legitimate, edit it, delete it, open the location. And so on. And then the program also has some other tools here in the toolbox. So this is a nice one, for example, if you want to mount an image of your backup, let's say this old one here. 
So let's say we want to do our main C drive here. Let's say let's put it all the way down to Z, for example, because we can't use C, obviously, because that's being used by Windows. All right, so now when we open up File Explorer, go to this PC, you can see we have our Z drive here with the backup image mounted. And then we can actually just go through the files if we wanted to. Let's say we wanted to restore something or just copy something over from the image without having to actually restore the entire image. We could just drag it out to our desktop, for example. So this is a really nice way to actually use your system image to actually restore a file or maybe get an older version of a file. Let's say you deleted it and you had it in your image backup. You could go back and get it. And then when you're done, you just select it, unmount it. Let's go back to the tools real quick here. And then you have some other options here to merge your images, check your images like we saw before, wipe a drive if you want to do that, view some logs, and so on. And they even have some other data recovery software if you want to check it out or a portable Windows Creator tool you could check out. All right, so overall, you could see it's a pretty nice program, especially for being free. So once again, you could do the system image backup like we just did, uh, disk and partition backups, and file level backups. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Hasleo Backup Suite, and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.